Hi, Caitlin. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for talking to me about this. I thought you were just terrific in this. And this is clearly not easy material. This story is heartbreaking. It's tragic. It made me want to scream. What was it about this project that made you want to tell this story? Why was it important to you? Yeah, I, it, it, is, some, it is something that makes you so in, in, just in, enraged with anger. And it did make me want to scream when I first read it. Um, because the injustice of it was just super surprising to me because I, I, I didn't know a lot about the opioid crisis. I, I knew just really like that. I knew that it existed. I didn't know about the Purdue Pharma and Sackler family um, side of it and how it all began. Uh, so I, I, I just immediately thought it was for that reason, a story that deserved to be told because it, it caused so much pain and suffering between just the people being um, the, the victims of the drug, but also the people being affected by that and the, the families with loved ones that they lost. And there's just, and it continues now, even today. So I think that the fact that we were able to shed light on that and, and, and in an honest way, I think it was just immediately so, so important for me. This is the second miniseries you've done. In recent years, uh, you also did terrific work and unbelievable. What do you enjoy about the opportunity to really get to explore a character more deeply in that way, especially when it comes to someone like this character? What aspects of her did you enjoy exploring that you likely wouldn't have gotten to explore if this were a film? I Yeah, that's so true. That That's something I really think about a lot when I'm when I'm diving in to do a, a film, you know, with a film, you, you don't have, you don't have the amount of time to really, you know, take the time and to go deeper and explore even more. Um, so with the, with a show like this and the fact that I had, you know, many episodes to work with, we were able to really carve out and take the time and really explore the nuances of Betsy and really take the time to um, go on that journey with her and to really follow the the tragedy and the heartbreak and um, to see where she started from too. And she started from such a, you know, I mean, happy I use lightly because there are a lot of things in her life that she was still internalizing and figuring out but she was figuring it out and she was working it out and she was coming from a place of really loving her job and and then um, wanting to move away with her her girlfriend and then really just after that her life just completely takes a turn because of the drug and um, I think because of the the limited series format, we were able to really, really get a really good glimpse at um, her storyline and what she deals with and what she goes through. Her story is a very familiar story in this particular epidemic and crisis. Mm -hmm. She's a young woman who's just trying to get by until she has an accident, gets hurt, ends up in pain and takes a prescription given to her by a doctor, which sort of spirals everything. So what do you hope viewers see in her story? Do you hope that watching what she goes through might help people have empathy for others like her instead of just a quick rush to judgment? I think the, that's the biggest reason why I wanted to be a part of it because I really felt like even it, it changed my, it changed the way I view um, the crisis. It gave me more information um, but it also allowed me, even me to have more empathy. So I think that, um, I think that telling this story, um, in such an honest way, we are, my hope is that the audience will really look at Bessie's story in particular and have more empathy towards people, um, dealing with addiction or family members that have 
lost a loved one or um, I, I really do believe that that it is a really, really powerful story. And I think it will do that and more for people. How did you find the experience of working with Michael Keaton? What was he like as a scene partner? What do you learn from working with someone who is really sort of an acting legend like him? He's just, it's working with him is still honestly like settling in in my brain because it's just (laughs) so, it's so mind blowing to me that I get to have that opportunity to work with him. Um, He really is, it's it's just a, a bucket list actor for me. And um working with him was such a joy he is I, I, it it's like just he doesn't even have to say anything to me to for it to be a master class and getting to watch him um was the master class and uh everything he says is he says with such honesty and you believe every single word that comes out of his mouth and he's just he's so good he's so good <laughs> Do you personally have a favorite role of his that you've seen just from his past career? I was talking about this earlier. I think it, I mean, obviously it's Batman. He's amazing at Batman. <laughs> but my personal favorite is a movie he did called Jack Frost because that movie shaped me and my, me and my sister. We watched it just nonstop growing up. So um, it's a role that I really, really enjoy. <laughs> I love that movie so much. <laughs> I, I have a permanent Beetlejuice shaped, you know, hole in my place in my heart for yes, character. It's, it's, it's right up there as well. <laughs> <laughs> well you, you are so truly terrific doing dramatic work. But do you ever wish you could do more comedy? I mean, is it something you'd like to do more of? I know you've done some, but certainly uh, not as much as the dramatic work that you do. Well, it's funny because I'm now like the rest of this year is dedicated to comedy. So I just did a comedy. I'm doing another comedy um, at the end of the year. And um, so I'm I'm mixing it up. I'm I and with Booksmart in there, too, I I I, I think it's I think it's maybe evened out now. <laughs> <laughs> I first became aware of your work when you did Justified, which was the first time you played a character almost from the start to the finish of that series. Is that a character that always will hold a special place in your heart? Is that someone that you really enjoy getting to follow the journey of? I so enjoyed playing that character. I lived, I lived with it for such a long time. And it, I mean, it has a special place in my heart, yes, because of the character, but also just the people that I worked with are just so lovely and and just really just awesome. They feel like my family. I, I still keep in touch with a lot of them and they're just so, I just had a really, really special time on that show. And um, I, 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 it's a really just a, an unforgettable experience that one, it's still one of the best. So. And I love Justified so much. It's very, very, very special to me. How hard is it to become invested in a story like this that it, you know there's no resolution to? The lives and the families that were affected by this are permanently altered. When you tell a real life story like that that doesn't have a happy ending, is it hard to let go of that weight? Um. It, it definitely is. I think I, I think I carry the weight with me for even longer than I even realize. Um, you know, for, for this role, I really just, and for a lot of, I mean, for even, even unbelievable that both of these stories felt so much bigger than me and they, and they are. Uh, and so I, for, for dope sick, I was really, just, I I caught myself just like completely forgetting about myself and the way I felt in these like more intense moments or when I had a harder day on set, I just really just took myself away from it because I knew that I had a, I had a responsibility and a duty to serve this, this story and to serve the text and, and make, make sure that I was doing it right. And so I felt like if I, if I were thinking about myself, that just would just be completely like unhelpful. And also it's just like, not about, not about me. It's about making sure that I'm, 
telling the story of Betsy Malum, which in turn represents like a whole group of people. And I, um, I really, I really just, uh, it was, it was hard, you know, but it, it, it was also just nothing, <laughs> nothing in comparison to, to what victims actually do go through. So, um, I was able to, I was able to, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to shake off for sure. So I, but I eventually, I think I'm able to just then be, be proud of what everybody made. And now that it's coming out, I mean, I didn't finish it much. Like I didn't finish it. It wasn't that long ago that I was wrapped on this and now it's coming out. So it's, it's a, it was a quick turnaround and I'm very grateful that people are going to finally see it. Well, I appreciate you talking to me about it. I definitely understand why you would want to go to comedy after this. So <laughs> thank you for talking to me about it. So much.